want you to help me out. We're going to bet a big Comedy Cube welcome from my good friend. Put your hands together for Mr. Jamario McClain. Thank you. Thank you. Um, recently got vaccinated. And if you didn't get it, it's your own life. It's your body. I'm not judging you. I had a, a white lady at a show had a dog in the front. And she said, I'm not vaccinated, but my dog is. I was like, damn, white people love their fucking dogs. <laughs> no, seriously, I seen, I seen the same lady kiss her dog on the mouth. I said, you know your dog was just licking his balls and ass? But I don't judge her. I was like, I'm not judging you. Because I kissed my girl after she licked my balls and ass. So I'm not fucking judging you, all right? <laughs> I went through depression and anxiety during COVID because I was going through it last year, 2020, and half of this year. Let me get this off my chest real quick. I have an eight ball for sale for 140. <laughs> so if you're feeling depressed, I'm gonna have you up here walking with purpose and shit. Like you're just gonna be walking, <laughs> taking meetings. I don't do coke, but I, I hooked up with this cougar. I love cougars because I have fucked up credit. And <laughs> I love cougars, but like she peer pressured me to do cocaine, y'all. She peer pressured me. I don't do it. I accidentally did it, actually. I accidentally. <laughs> I didn't do it. Because she was like, do you do coke? And she pulled it out. And before I could say no, she's like, coke gets me horny. I was like, yeah, I'll do that shit. Come on, I'll do it. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's get horny together. But I didn't really do it, though. Like, she put the line down. And like, she was very generous with her cocaine. Like, it looked like the DMV line in the morning. Like, this shit was long. <laughs> I was very nervous, so this is what I did. I went up to it and I was like, I just blew the shit off. And I was like, I can't feel my face. I did shrooms recently. Fuck yeah, somebody in the back on shrooms, of course you're, yeah. I, I did shrooms and I took my son to the park. You gotta go outside, you gotta see nature. And I was like, I seen him fucking on the playground, I was just started crying. I just started crying, y'all. My son came and was like, what's the matter, dad? I was like, man, you came on my balls, bro. I fucking love you, man. You made it. You could have been a jack off, sir. Like, you're here. I did a drug I would never do ever again. I did a drug called Molly. I would never do it ever. Don't do it, fellas. Molly will have you talk yourself out of pussy. Don't do it. Nope. <laughs> I was in the club, I took a molly and I'm dancing with a girl, but I was more worried about the interior design in the club, like I was tripping. I was like, this is nice right here. They should have a DJ over here though. And you know a girl feeling you in the club when she twerking on you, like she was twerking on me, like backing it up on me. And the molly really kicked in, I just started feeling myself by then. I was just like, like I pushed her off, like bitch, I don't even need you no more. I already came, I don't need you, thank you. <laughs> Ever, I, I'm, not, I'm not just a comedian, I'm also an actor. Round of applause, have you guys seen the movie Black Panther? Anybody seen Black Panther? Hell yeah. I wasn't in that movie though, I was just checking. <laughs> just checking if y'all seen it, it's a great movie. After the show I had a studio copy DVDs for sale, Black Panther, I was just checking. No. I believe in multiple streams of income, so uh, if any ladies celebrate any birthdays, I'm also a stripper, chocolatethunder.org, if you guys want to hire me. I started a nonprofit. <laughs> Strip, comedy's hard. Comedy is a very hard craft, but stripping is worse. It's way, it's very, you get exposed real quick. I did a bachelorette party, and, and it's 20 women in there, and she wanted me to wear a thong. And she was like, okay, I'll do it for you, the bachelorette ass. 20 women in the room, and I'm dancing, and it's only $6 on the floor. Like, that shit's fucked up. But I still pick that shit up, though. Like, Thank you. It's very degrading. Because I felt like I, I'm exposing myself wearing a thong. And one lady was like, bite the bill, bite that shit. I was like, no, that's unsanitary, fuck that, no. I'm not biting a dollar. And so I seen it was a 50. I was like, ah, I bit the fuck out that shit. 
She very, de- it's very degrading though. I got exposed because I was trying to get like a real, I got real low, I got real low, and my left ball just left the thong. It was just out. And nobody said nothing. I got sick that night. My left ball was out the thong. It was cold. You get exposed, you really do. Because the bachelor was like, let me see you make it clap. I said, excuse me? All right, give me a few moments real quick. I had to think about it. I was like, all right, she want to make it clap, okay. I just start jumping. My balls was hurting, but it was clapping. Fuck it, let's let it happen. Thank you. I swear, y'all, I'm excited to announce uh, this. I'm glad to be here at Comedy Q, Funny Media Group. But I actually just, I actually just, I did a big stage for comedians. Obviously, you guys heard of Showtime at the Apollo. Cool. Y'all ain't got to clap. It's just my dreams. Fuck it. It's cool. Y'all ain't got to clap. It's all right. I didn't want you to clap because I actually got booked for Showtime at the Apollo Local on Sunset Crescent Heights. So, thank you. Appreciate that. I love rejection. So if I go in the club, I like to, I'll holler at the hottest chick because I like to get rejected. I love it. It makes me stronger. <laughs> I was in the club. Ladies, if a guy buy you a drink, you should at least give him a five-minute conversation because there's some beautiful women in here tonight. I was in the club. I seen this hot chick. She had a nice body. She had a big booty, but she was poking her ass out because she was wearing the heels, and she made her ass look bigger by how she was wearing her heels. Like, she walked by, she looked like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. She was like this, like... <laughs> I don't know why the little T-Rex arms got my dick hard. I had to bend over like. And then I, I tried to ask her, what do you want to drink? And then she said, adios, motherfucker. I was like, okay, shit. In the club, adios, motherfucker, that the club we was in, it cost $18 for one drink. I asked the bartender, does it come with a molly? Because that's a little expensive, right? <laughs> got her to drink. And I was like, hey, what's up? What's your name? She's like, Jasmine. Okay, I'm going with my friends over here. Adios, motherfucker. She walked away. It's like, fuck. That's the worst. Like, fellas, we don't like to chase women in the club, but I was going to chase her. I was like, man, she's going to at least give me her name. Or she gave me her name, but at least give me her Instagram or something. And then the club was about to close. They start turning the lights on. And that's the best time. We get to really see the girls. I swear, some girls run out like they fucking vampires. Like, <laughs> Like they gonna melt in the light or some shit. But I got, I found Jasmine, I seen her, and then the light was fully on now, and I got to see her, and I realized she had a wig on. I'm not hating on wigs, but her wig was crooked. Like I seen a tag on the side. I was like, okay. Let me help you out right here, real quick. Cause I have OCD, it was bothering me. I was like, I gotta straighten that out. And then I realized she had the fake eyelashes the ladies be wearing, the big eyelashes. Looked like tarantula legs. But whatever glue she had on, it wasn't working. Like, it was peeling off her eyelid. Like, every time she blinked, it was moving around. So now I'm really, my OCD's on a hundred. I'm like. And I'm thinking to myself, I invested $18 and this bitch is falling apart right in front of me. I hate it. I just took my L and walked away. Like I said, I was dating this cougar, and she was wild. Any ladies like that like rough sex, I feel like you shouldn't take it to the streets. Because she was like really during sex, she was like, I want you to slap me, slap me. And I was like, nah, I got warrants, fuck that, I ain't touching you. I'll dick slap you, I ain't putting my hands on you. Ladies that like to get choked during sex, I think that's a little aggressive, but if you like to get choked during sex, you shouldn't mind getting choked in public when you arguing with your fucking dude. That's how I feel. <laughs> it shouldn't be a double standard. But this cougar was really, really aggressive about it. She was like, choke me, choke me, choke me, nigga. And it was a white girl. I was like, this bitch right here, hold the fuck. <laughs> I'll put her in an MMA chokehold. I was like, you gonna call me a nigga? I know you listen to hip hop, but damn. Get exposed. I swear, sometimes it is hard though. I like it. I was with this cougar that didn't make noise during sex and it fucked with my confidence. 
I swear, because she was pretty, had big, beautiful eyes, and I'm trying to like give her like the fucking like nice stroke. That's called power clean stroke right there. That's a power clean. <laughs> she didn't make no noise. All she was doing is staring at me like she's trying to steal my soul. Just. <laughs> and I'm like, can you at least blink if you feel the dick? Fuck. <laughs> I was giving her, I was giving her the fucking ski. I was like. <laughs> Still no noise. She was, I was like, I need you to breathe or make some noise. She was like, okay. Ah, ah, ah. I was like, all right, now you can wake my mama. Turn that shit down. Because we can tell when you're faking, ladies. We can tell. Because she was over the top. Ah, ah, ah. I was like, I'm not even going that fast. Calm down. Because if my dad walk in, you go get game bang. Shut the fuck up, okay? So my dad the only one? Your dad did that too, bro, come on. He walk in, hey bro, high five. How long y'all been going out? <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, my name is Jamario, thank you, Comedy Q. Y'all got Facebook, Instagram, Jamario McClain. Make some noise, God bless. This has been a Funny Media Group production.